The Siemens Digital Innovation Zone is proud to present the Robotic Arm Challenge. This challenge is comprised of students learning CAD computer-aided design within our space and then designing obstacles for the robotic arm to navigate through. This allows them to use and learn CAD skills and to experience more Siemens software and also learn how to, from scratch, program a robotic arm. It went really well. Went well I'm really yeah. happy, yeah. Everything went as planned. Yeah. Um, Bit nervous at the start, but when we when it got started, I was really gassed about it. We were going, it was yeah. going, and it went. Yeah, it went, went to plan. It's good. The first thing how we started this, we came up with a rough story, which is how we said, okay, we'll pull out a sword from a rock. We'll attack. What's going to be? We're going to attack a Charizard. We're going to fly a plane. We're going to stack cups. But then yeah. closer to the deadline, we kind of just improved it. We're like, okay, we need a story. We're now entering a dungeon. We need to add some dramatic effect. Let's play Freebird. <laughs> so we tried using as much space as possible. That's why we came up with the idea of a loop to have some sort of smooth movements as well of the robots using most of its joint, especially like rotation wise. We looked at existing obstacle courses and see what we could take and be inspired from that. And then from that, everybody went away, made their own designs. Then we came together and as David said, discussed it collaboratively, which ones we put and stuff like that. From the start, we wanted to kind of go over the whole thing to kind of just yeah. show off that the scale of what we've done. And then we really wanted to show like the maneuverability of the robot towards the end. So that's why we had a few curves in there, a few straights as well. The University of Sheffield and the Siemens partnership is really important as it allows students to be exposed to international projects and research. And also, as a zone ourselves, we are able to teach students first-hand industry standard software. Sometimes we'd work on the DIS project here and we'd also work on outside uni projects and it's really good space for that as well. Yeah, and having the high performance computers definitely helps yeah, as well. 100%. We can quickly um, access the software that we yes. need. Yeah. We got to use a bunch of different equipment which I haven't like used before. Uh, so it was good to have a play around with all that. It allowed us to like um, express our creativity a lot because it was really open-ended the way you wanted to approach it. Students participating in our challenge have experienced various challenges along the way. Some of those have stemmed from never experiencing Solid Edge, our main CAD software before. For many, it's their first exposure to the robotic arm. And again, they just came in and got first-hand help from a Siemens employee, myself, and student volunteers from around the university. The majority of the challenge was just in designing the stuff on Solid Edge. I mean, we had a few problems with 3D scanning and with the robot as well. But overall, like all the problems are just solved by do it again or do it like better. There's some limitations with the robot as well as that kind of made it difficult to do some of the ideas that we wanted to do. It would look out at 360 yeah. degrees rotation. So Maybe we could have made the car do like a few more, yeah. a few more drifts if uh, yeah. did a bit more. But it forced but us to be creative, I guess. Yeah, and yeah, so exactly. like, I guess it kind of grew some ideas as well. Yeah, 100%. Definitely the Tower of Hanoi with uh, the amount of like finicky bits on it and the variations in the positions. It was really difficult, but we managed to overcome that in the end. Congratulations to all the students that took part. Your hard work has been recognised and it's produced some incredible results. And I've been really proud of this competition and what it's produced. Yeah, it feels yeah, great to have won the competition, to be fair. It was good to see like that people have been working on projects and getting their stuff together. And it's like what other people have done was very impressive as well. Yeah, maybe someday we work together at Siemens, maybe. Maybe. <laughs>